There goes another. There goes another one. They always dye their hair a little bit yellow or, well, in this case, blue. Because they want to look like somebody else. They want to look different in the mirror when they see themselves. Because that's basically what females desire. They love change. Females can't be the same. They always want somebody else, the next next to suck. The next country to go and then look at. They can't be satisfied with staying your ass in one place. A man could live 40 years in the same place. He has no problem with it whatsoever. No real desire to see other countries. If people even come to him, let's go somewhere. Ah, nah, man. But when he goes, he will enjoy himself. Comes back, he won't start getting delusional ideas of going all over the place and stuff like that, all over the world. But the female will. They want to go all over the world. But you got to understand, you have men that have female-like tendencies. You know? Women know better, right? Women says your intuition. Well, some men have women's, women's intuition too. Which is, uh, it's not good for a man to have, man. A man is supposed to be a man and a female is supposed to be a female. If not, then why, 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 why do you need protection? Why can't you walk the street just like I walk the street at night? Two o'clock in the morning. Rocking around with nobody protecting you. You know you're scared. Everybody knows you're scared. All you have to do is admit it and you will be protected. If you don't, we just let your ass loose. You can take steroids all you want. Once them big dudes come over, you're gonna get pregnant. With your steroids body and shit. Cause some dudes don't care. Especially the ones that have been in jail for 20 years. All swollen up. Looking for the new young blood boys to come in jail. Here it is, he come out of jail and he see a girl built like a boy. What you think he gonna do? Hey man, it's just like in jail, man. You know what I'm saying? What's up? <laughs> Ain't none. But this time it's a difference because the thing is still gonna get moist. Every female that has been rampant, they got wet. You know what I'm saying? But once you get to thrust them, <laughs> You still gonna get wet. That's why. That, that's why them. That, that's why them lesbians need a dildo. They talk about that they 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 uh, no, they don't need a man, right? But why you need a dildo then? If you were a real lesbian, you would you would uh, you would you would, you would try to start try to start a fire. <laughs> that's what's up. Or use your tongue. Why you need something that resembles a penis? If you're a real lesbian, you know what I'm saying? Why you got a strap-on dildo then? It's basically a strap-on dick. Because you know you ain't real. You're not, you're not, you're not a person that stands by your beliefs. You're, you're, you're being lied to by the government, and you're being lied to by them demons in your head. And therefore, you lie to yourself. Because you know damn well you're not a man. And a man damn well knows that he's not a female. They damn well know. They just want you to play along with their stupid little game called Sodom and Gomorrah. Confusion, Babylon. Yeah, that juice, that Babylon juice, man. Pussy juice. That disgusting shit. With period blood. Uh, you, you done? Job chapter 9 verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, man. We see it all around, man. Who is the wicked, man? His faces are everywhere, man. He, on the money, everywhere the, he, 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 where we turn, we see uh, the, the wicked, man. Billboards. Billboards. It's a job. Job, yeah, man. Everywhere, anywhere. Everywhere you go, you see that. Television. Television, yeah. And it, even if you think about uh, the word television, it's telling you a vision, man. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And it's telling you a lie. Their vision. Their vision, their philosophy, man. They try to get you on top of it, man. And if, 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 they, uh, if you're bringing your school to them, they are lying to your ch children there, man. And your children, you see, you don't, you don't see your children that much, man. If your children are, are uh, five days uh, in a week on school, it's like uh, from 8 o'clock till I think it's right. 4, something like that. 
then they come home, so they you eat a little bit, then you talk a little bit with the child, the child go back, back to uh, bed again, Sleep. like 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. How many time did you spend with your child? Three hours, four hours. And then most of the time he's in school. So they are uh, programming. programming your children, man, with the philosophy, man. To come against you. Yeah, and then you get the society where you get Sodom and Gomorrah. Then you need to, to, to tell your children, like, yo, a, a man is a man and a female is a female. Now he's going to tell you, no, you can be what you want to be. Or he's going to tell you that coconut, coconut oil and olive oil is bad exactly. for you. Come on, man. He gonna tell you fluoride is good for you. Come on, man. We saw that spill, that fluoride spill, that ate through cement. You know how hard it is to get through cement, man? A fucking jackhammer is gonna take a while to get through the motherfucking cement, right? But this acid, this shit ate through the cement, man. It ate through it. It was pure fluoride on its way to the water facility, and then they was going, Put it in the water to dilute it. Of course, it's not going to kill you right away. But if I give you small doses of venom every day, eventually you're going to get sick. If I give you like cyanide one time, you're going to die. But if I give you, you're going to get stomach aches, you're going to get high fevers, you're going to get all type of crazy shit. And after a while, you'd be dead. Well, that's the same thing with uh, the fluoride. Bit by bit. Yeah, yeah, sorry. This is 2nd Esther, chapter 6, verse 59. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? So that's what we add. What Esther was asking the most high, how long shall we serve here, man? How long do we need to work here, man, for them, for these wicked people, man? We are not supposed to work for them, man. Now, of course, we need to right now. Right now, <laughs> right now, we don't have a chance of choice. But here's Esther asking, man, how long shall this endure? But we don't, we don't know the time. Even Yahushai don't know the time. Only the Father knows the time. And when it's time that Yahweh says it's give the green light to Yahweh Shai, we're gonna attack, yo, then we are ready. Because also in uh, uh, John, uh, you get John, uh, 18, uh, no, no, no. John 18 and 36. Because we waiting on Yahweh Shai, man, to come back to deliver us, man. You said 18 and 36? Uh, 18 and 36, yeah. Right now, only thing that we can do is bring out the truth, man. Everything that we're doing is right now is in the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Say, but some say this is spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, take us to Shemayah Kalash. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is that any spirit? Mm -hmm. Is that any spirit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that any spirit? You see, you can't get any scans in the place. So I'm scared the man, so in a great soul for us, and now you're sick of the other way. Three so really. And in the middle says they kill. The under the three says a bitch. Hot bitch. Where you see them? Where you see them? You see, that's a piece of shit. This is all right. I'm going to brand them with fuel. I go to the middle. But all these middles, then he's a man. He's the man of spirit, so. But hey. Y'all write this out, man. Sometimes you could just look at people and you'd be like, they do nasty shit, man. John chapter 18, verse 30, what? 36. 36. Yahweh shall answer, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. Yeah, man. That I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Right now it's not the kingdom, man. But when Yahushai said, like, when it is my kingdom, my servant. Uh, no, he says, oh, he's not going to transform his yeah. soul. <laughs> uh, uh, Alabas. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's roll it out. Hey, what's up, Holmes? What's up, Chop Chops? So, yeah. Can you read the letter? to the word. Yeah. <laughs> chill. Yeah, can you read it again? So it says here, John chapter 18, verse 36. Yahweh shall answer, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. That goes also like uh, when we are in war and you don't put back the, if you, yeah. you, you, you yeah. held the sword back. He that, uh, uh, the scripture, uh, he that held it back his sword, sword from, uh, from it's blood is not uh, fit for the kingdom. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not fit for the kingdom. Um, right now, it served, we are waiting on Yahweh Basham Yahushai. If, if, if he was here right now, we will fight. And he knows his servants are fight, man. We are waiting for the moment. That is the picture of the fate of the saints, man. We are waiting to, to, to bring this wicked kingdom down, man. And, and this needs to stop, man. All the all the all this nonsense like like the the, 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 the Sodom and Gomorrah what's going on in this kingdom, man, it's, it's getting tired, man. Even you cannot raise up the children normally here, man. Yeah, man. It's crazy how you need to explain to a child this is not how it's supposed to be. And then your child wanna to go to school and like tell and, and you need to tell them be wise, but they don't go to school and like be telling yeah. them don't yeah, too. Yeah. It's the opposite. So it's you're, you're, you're telling your child this is not the truth, but don't tell the people that it's not the truth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or you might get in trouble. You might get in trouble. That's the, 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 the mindset and how you create your child. It's confusing for the child also, like, oh, so I cannot speak my thoughts? It's, it's like the scripture said, yeah. if you have a problem with a brother, open, open the book is better than secret love, right? So you got to speak the thoughts. And right now you're telling your child, don't speak your thoughts, just think about it, uh, be wise with it. And then you get the scripture like, be wise as a servant, harmless as a, as a dove. That's why Esau wants them when, they, uh, when they're young. I think three years old, they yeah. send them to school. Mm -hmm. Because when a child is three, that's when the child can soak everything up. That's why they also kitty sacrifice always the young children, especially a smart boy. Because they want that knowledge, that, that spirit that he has. Listen, everybody has a spirit. Sometimes you talk with Kushites, especially when they can't talk your language, you look at them and you think they're stupid. That's how a lot of people actually look at you when you go to a country and you don't speak their language. They look at you as stupid. I'm gonna give you an example of a fact. Maybe, uh, So if you have a, for example, if you have a, <clears throat> right, if you have somebody that can't speak, they're actually on a, they're, uh, they're, they're on a, you know, they're dumb, meaning they can't speak, they're mute. You would automatically think that they're stupid because they can't talk. A mute person. Just because you're mute or can't speak the language doesn't mean that you're stupid. What are you doing? Gotta go. He took flight. That's that's the same way that we're gonna take flight. Y'all wrap this up. It's gonna open up yeah. as if we have wings of eagles. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna dash. Right, so uh yeah. Uh it's done. Then it should be not delivered to the kid kid that you realize. Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, We are hypocrites. So they, bring, they were bringing low. Yeah. But we will return and build the desolate places. So, right now, like the brother already explained it, they are, be, they are back and they build up the place, man. Right? They build, build up the kingdom here, man, right? on this earth. This is their kingdom, man. Right? The earth was given to us. But they build it up right now. Everything the earth was made for our sakes, yeah. but it was given unto the wicked. Yeah, God. And everywhere that you go, where uh, Esau went, where, what they do? Rape, rob, and murder, man. Everywhere that you see their faces coming through, they destroy the land, devouring the land. There's nothing that right now, I saw also like a uh, clipper of uh, some country in uh, Arabia or something like uh, uh, a Muslim country. They, uh, a 
Arab country, and they said uh, the the woman didn't want to wear an uh, hijab again. But what I think it was Iran? Iran, yeah, probably Iran. Yeah. And uh, right now they wanted to be free. They was explaining yeah, like, Iran. yeah, I want to be free. I wanted to do what I wanted to do, so, like. And that's why a lot of them they had yellow hair. Yes, and that, that's, that's the shit. Yeah. That's that juice. You saw it, right? All of the females in Iran that wanna they wanna be free. All of them dye their hair yellow because who do they wanna who do they wanna follow after? Yep. They don't wanna follow after the men of their nation. They wanna follow after the men of Esau, Esau's nation. You know, after their females. Sorry. What? Yeah. So that's what I saw also. Like I saw them having yellow hair and be like, now you wanted to follow the, the, the Esau's kingdom again, man. While you have your own culture. Uh, culture and now you want to uh, improve the culture of the West, man. And where does it lead to? The Western always destroyed things, man. The Western females, the Western, are, yeah, the Western destroy things. Like the females are are, are are going down, is done. A lot of people are leaving their females, the, the Westernized females also, yep. going to other countries, man. South America, Europe. Yep, because it's done. The kingdom is. Uh, little by little is falling down and we're seeing that man only only moab and ammon can see it <laughs> <laughs> they come strong <laughs> they come strong yeah he's gonna say that bitch she said we asian females are gonna yeah. single-handedly destroy the caucasian race by interbreeding i was like no you ain't them children go identify with Esau. You identify with Esau, motherfucker. How the hell? That don't make no damn sense. You getting fucked every time you've been putting on your knees and you scream, God, when he fucks you. Oh, God. Who's your God? The man that's fucking you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? God ain't having sex with you. It's the man that has sex with you. So when you say, oh, God, you're calling your, your man a God. Your husband. Which, you, which is what he is supposed to be. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. Yeah, that pride also, like, uh, every, every time you talk with an, uh, uh, a lot of time when you talk to Esau, his pride is very high. He, he, every time you, I even see it on my job. When I'm talking to a certain person, I'm explaining him something, and he'll be like, no, no. It's like this, and then I need to go back to back and forth to argue. Right now, I'll be like, yo, I, I ain't gonna waste my time with my words for you, man. And the pride is very high, man. Can you read it again before the part? They shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness. So the Most High is going to throw them down right now. Man. They're already falling, man. We are the last times, the last days, man. Most high is bringing them down, man. They're going back to the ground, man. And we're gonna rule them, man. We're gonna rule over them. Even the oppress the, 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 the kings and queens, man. So-called kings and queens. Because if I look to them, I don't see a king there, man. I see my people are kings, man. But I don't call them kings. Let me rephrase that. Yeah, I know. I don't call them kings, but right. if you think about it, what you want for your people, man. You don't want to see people like this. We ain't being uh, on the on the lowest. They supposed to be on the low, where they belong, man. We are not built for this, man. Because we are, we of course we are wicked. But we co should come back to the Most High, and when the Most High changes our body, man, we ain't gonna sin anymore. That's the beauty of it. When going back and the Most High twist our body like like in a, in a second, man. Get in the new bodies, man. That's when we're going to live, man, in righteousness. No craziness, no adultery here anymore, man. All this kind of wickedness that you see around here, man. This is not how we're supposed to live. The world should be at peace. Even the animals going to be at peace again, man. <laughs> They're going to be like, phew. Yeah, it's Eat done. Some, man. Even the shit. Even the trees killed millions of us. They are sick of it, man. Put them in cages and all kind of wickedness, man. They're supposed to be free. Now you lock them up in cages and gonna look.
gonna put y'all on back in cages and look at y'all. Yep. Y'all gonna be our soup. Human zoos are gonna come back. Yeah, man. And they've been doing that to us too much. Yeah. Belgium. Belgium. Also in America, I thought it was a soup that they put uh, a Jake in it. He put it with the monkeys. We're gonna put y'all with the monkeys. The open soup. The monkeys gonna play with y'all. <laughs> Throw yeah. you away, back and forth. Yeah, then we're gonna put that big ass gorilla in your yeah, cage man. too. He's gonna show you the ropes. How it's supposed <laughs> to go. <laughs> man. He's gonna show you the ropes. And I'm gonna hit your ass, let your ass stand up. Sure. That's when they see yeah. the threat. Yeah. Oh, you stay? Yeah. You stay? Because <laughs> you, you got they, they want you to bow, right? Yeah. Because yeah. they look like, hey man, don't stay in my face like yeah. that, bro. Hey. Man, you do that shit, all of a sudden you're gonna hit yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. The people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. Yeah. Can you give me uh, over there, uh, over there? Yeah. Sorry. Give me sorry. 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 And it shall come to pass that in all the land, say the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two parts of the of, of people shall die, man. They ain't gonna make it. Why? Because they wanna be in wickedness. They still wanna do their own thing. But the most high explained them how we're supposed to be. They still wanna do our own thing. I wanna go their way, I wanna go to a vacation, I wanna have that land. I wanna go like the brother already was saying. Everywhere they want to go, man. Hey, Shalom, I'll watch them, watch them, watch them, watch them. Check it out. They want to go to their, uh, they, they want to go on vacation. Everything. Read it again. The bed, the glance, the sun. The glance, the glance, the glance. It shall come to pass. Links, man, your hand, yeah, that. That in all the land, say the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. For the wickedness that they're doing, man. They're only doing wickedness, man. They're singing together, being everyone is equal, everybody is the same, uh, love everyone. It's not about love. We ain't supposed to be like that, man. They ain't like that. They ain't like that. That's why. That's why you have the the so-called queen of uh, wait, not even. I don't even have to go that far. Do the elites, for example, when you go to them so-called third world countries, why do they call it third world? Because the people in the so-called first world countries don't see them as equals neither. So how the fuck is, is, does equality exist? Because when these Edomites go over there in Curacao, for example, they buy up the whole fucking beach. And the people that live there, been there for like two, three hundred years, have their families and generations. They can't go there no more because now Edomites are there. So, where's the equality again? Yeah. Stop lying to yourself, man. Stop being lied to and then yeah. believing in a lie. And you wanna love them. Look what they're doing, man. Like the brother already said, when you go to Curacao, you see them going to the, the best places. And they build, they, 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 they buy the whole land, build big houses on it. And the price of the houses goes skyrocket, but the people on the land can even buy it, man. And you want to love that? Is it fair? Is it equal? No, it isn't. Well, well, then, uh, uh, read that uh, says here. Uh, read it. For the third part, the, for the third shall be left therein, mm -hmm. and I will bring the third part to the fire, mm -hmm. and to refine them as silver is refined. I will try them as gold is tried. Yeah, we are be tried, man. To go into the fire. Everything what happened on us, on us, but with us, going through pains and uh, and all kind of fixes, man. What, what happened on our body, man? Even the world when you were in your job, man. All the craziness that's going on. We be tried and be cured. Yahweh the Son, man. They shall call on my name. I will hear them. I will say it is my people. They shall say the Lord is my power. Yeah. We will, we will call on the Yahweh Basham Yahshai, His name. We know in the time when we need Him, and we need Him to, today. We need Him every day, every minute, every second we need Him. We call on His name. 
je houdbaar om jouw zij. En de toeteurt die een koning aan je houdbaar om jouw zij, die koning kaal wanneer de missiles er komen in Babylon. En dan gaan ze Caesar. En dan gaan ze Caesar. Ja, ze gaan het dood met Caesar. Caesar! Maar we weten, we we call it on the name Yahweh Basham Yahushai. We Yahweh said we are the one that's gonna be delivered, man. Yeah. We serve us or eat. Before the trouble come, call me. Yeah. Not when the trouble comes. Exactly. And that's what our people are, man. Always when it's too late, they then they want to come. Yeah. But now you have the opportunity to come early. The doors are closing. He's gonna laugh. He's gonna laugh when the fall is off you. When you're falling, man. He's gonna laugh at the calamity. Proverbs chapter 1 says so. It shows that. Yeah. He's gonna laugh like to his men. Even we're gonna stand there like, yeah. ooh, okay, that's the most high. I wouldn't want to be you <laughs> right now. Be you. She. <laughs> yeah. Isaiah 63 and the rest of uh, 18. Let me read 18 again. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary. We are thine. Thou never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. The nations are not called by the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. So, they don't count. They are as a drop of a bucket that falleth out of a whole vessel. Uh, I, wait. They are as a drop of a bucket that falleth out of a bucket, out of a vessel of, of water, a body of water. If a drop falls out of a bucket, you're not going to miss that little drop. It's nothing. Basically, that's how the nations are. And if you think it's far-fetched, Saul has killed thousands. King David had killed ten, tens of thousands. And with his men, he killed hundreds of thousands. Does the, does the Heavenly Father care about those people's lives? No, he doesn't. 1 Ezra chapter 1 verse 2. Sorry. 1 Ezra chapter 2 verse 17. To King Artaxerxes. I say that again. I forgot how the brother said it. But this is the one that sticks in my head. It says Artaxerxes. Artaxerxes. I think they said Artaxerxes. Yeah. Artaxerxes. I got to remember what the brother said. Because he's always laughing at me that I pronounce it like that. I'm like, that's what I read. But then I hear him say it, like, Sibulet, eh. Sibulet, right? Tomato, <laughs> tomato. But anyway, after Xerxes, our Lord, thy servants, without Humus, the story writer, and Samelius, the scribe, and the rest of their council. And the judges that are in Seleucidia and Phoenice, which is uh, Phoenicians. In Seleucidia, it's in Syria, but uh, I forgot the other word, sorry. You can look it up if you have the time. Now, verse 18. But be it, sorry, be it not known to the Lord the King, that the Jews, the Israelites, that are come up from you to, to us, being come into Jerusalem, that rebellious and wicked city <laughs> do build the marketplaces and repair the walls of it and do lay the foundation of the temple. So just like how we are building the walls right now of Jew, which is the spiritual house of, of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, which is his men gathered all over the four corners of the earth, we are building the, the third temple, which is a spiritual building in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, right? So we're building that third temple, right? So it says, I'm going to read it again. First Ezra chapter 2, verse 17. To King Artaxas, our Lord, thy servant Ramtis, the story, the writer, and Samelius, the scribe, and the rest of their council, right? So they was talking to their king Artaxas, Artaxerxes. And the judges that are in Silo City and Phoenice. Now it says, this is what they told their king. Be it now known to the Lord, the King, our Toxus, that the Jews that are come up from you to us, being come into Jerusalem, that rebellious and wicked city, that's what they said about us, right? Which is true. <laughs> Going on. Do build the marketplaces and repair the walls of it. 
Aren't we repairing the walls? Isn't the Most High building up the ruins of David again? Which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Indians. He's building up the nation of Jacob again. So our people are waking up. Not that woke bullshit that they're trying to feed you on the television. That's going back to sleep tenfold. You know what I'm saying? That's going back to, even Edomites are going back to sleep when they're talking about they woke. That's not how you further a nation, prosperity. That's how you destroy a nation. By giving the minority more power than you. The minority of the planet Earth are so-called homosexuals. How come they have more rights than the so-called average uh, heterosexual? They got more rights than us, but but yeah, we're, we're not, not a nation, so they're supposed to have more rights than us. Why? Have you ever seen a homosexual get shot 50 times by the cops? <coughs> get murdered left and right by the cops? No, you don't, because they know that Satan doesn't attack Satan on that level. You know what I'm saying? What they're going to do is they're going to attack Jake, but anyway, going on. Now it says that rebellious and wicked city do build the marketplaces and repair the walls of it and do lay the foundation of the temple. Now, if this city and the walls thereof be made up again, rising up of Jacob again, right? They will not only refuse to give tribute, <laughs> check this out, but also rebel against kings. And that's exactly what the Jacob descendants will do once the Heavenly Father gives out their power. The first thing that we're going to do once this city is built up again, the fallen city, which is mentioned in the book of Acts 15, that the Mosai said, I will build up the ruins of David. Okay, that's, 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 that's the walls. And, and, I will, and I will also, in the book of Amos 9, it says, I will break, uh, 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 build the walls thereof and uh, uh, close the breaches of it. You know? So we're going to be built up again. And the first thing that we're going to do is, we're going to stop paying them tributes. Because they ain't going to tax us no more. You know what I'm saying? So it says, Now if this city and the walls thereof be paid up again, they will not only refuse to give tribute, but also rebel against kings. <laughs> And for as much as the things pertaining to the temple are now in hand, we think it meet not to neglect such a matter. You better be scared. You better not neglect the fact that the Jacob descendants is waking up again and starting to rise up again, as it is mentioned in the book of Ezekiel 37. You better recognize, because you're going into slavery once that time comes. Esau and the heathen nations. Something like that. He came to ask the flyer. 
Because he said, hey, you got a car? I thought he said, like, you got a license to stand here. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? We don't need no license. Because in the other cities and stuff like that, they want to force you to get a license to come out here and teach. Get the fuck out of here. In the beginning, they used to do that with us too. But then we looked up the law and it says they can't do that. So now we fucking them with their own law. Now they got to get the fuck out of here. But anyway, so he came here and he said this. I believe what the, uh, the Iranian king said, Abdul Nasar Gabak. He said, the Jews left here black <laughs> and came back white. We will never accept you. We will always make war with you. That's what he said, man. And it was written in Time magazine. Did you know what they did with that book? They took it away like Mein Kampf. All of a sudden, you can't get it no more. Why? Because they know the truth is right in there. They know these, these, these uh, Arab nations, they know who the Israelites are. They know. They know exactly who we are. But they, especially the elites. Their elites know who we are. Some of them, some of them common folks, they know too. You know? Even Hitler talked about it. Yeah, that Jordan Dom is a Shwasha Galiba. Yeah. He wasn't killing the real Jews. He was killing his own people, man. He was killing Ida. Isa he was killing, man. He wasn't even killing. Yeah, he was gas. He was gas and the fleas over their fucking ass. And that's and that's that's a, that's a good death, man. If you think about like what you were explaining, like if you whoop somebody or, or torment somebody uh, for 400 years, that's not compared to like you put in a gas chamber and you be like in five minutes you're already dead. And it was not even six million because nope. there wasn't even six million people in Germany. There yeah. they lie again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the funny part is they had swimming pools over there. Yep. They had swimming pools over there in the, in the German uh, camps and stuff like that. What does that tell you? They was having a ball. Like Benny the Ball in TC. Always on a party for TC smart, right? He's always trying to trick somebody to get a party going on. That's what they was doing. They was tricking people. You know? Are we going to wrap it up? You done? It's a booger kid, 43. We've had a booger team rocking a long time. Running me, chapter 28, is 43. Now, the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. That's the state where you are right now. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. So, they shall lend to us, but we ain't lending back to them, because it is their kingdom. We need to go to their banks. We need to go to 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 to, to, to everything. Can you, their shops. Can their, you can you rest his bank? <laughs> can you rest his bank? Even he is cut off from their bank. From he, his own bank. From his own bank. Yeah, well, his own money. <laughs> yeah, in his their own banks. money in their kingdom. <laughs> yeah. But the stores, the clothes, the drinks, the water, the food is from them. Man. It's not from us. It's from them. So we need to go to them. And even the, even the bananas here. Yeah. Yeah. Come from South America. There ain't no fuck freaking bananas in Europe. Okay. And, and, and you think they, they own that uh, plantation there? No. Even Esau no. got his hand right. in the plantation. So in your own land, Esau put in his finger again. Sanctions. Sanctions. Did, did you know that the African people, the farmers over there, are not allowed to sell the food to uh, uh, Africans? Yep. Yep. They get fines out there at their ass, man. They take shit. They, they are only allowed to actually grow food for England. You know how crazy that shit is, right? In, in certain parts of Africa, the farmers are not allowed to grow food and sell it to the locals. They get fined. Lose, lose their permits and shit like that. War, right? they, yeah, that's a declaration of war. If they sell it to the Jacob descendants, actually, in South America. So what they do is, they are only allowed to grow food for England. That's, that's, that's what's up. So, and they're afraid. They're afraid. They are afraid. They're afraid of Esau. They're more afraid of Esau than they are of the Heavenly Father. He shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail. So, so right now we are on the bottom. Man. But in the left, in the, when Yahweh Vashem Yahusha is coming back, we're going to be above again. Man. We're going to be at rest. We're going to be ruling the world in righteousness. So yeah, Yahweh Ratzak, keep praying and uh, keep looking for Yahweh Basham Yahushai.
So with that, we're going to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahashah, Ba'ashem Yahashah, Kadash, double on the sons of the elder apostles, a great millstone, for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. And Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Shalom.